Okay, let's walk through a Joomla 2.5 installation. Now to do this, I'm going to go once again to my WAMP server, and I'll go to the um, localhost page, which I've set up, and removed the index page so we can go straight away to Site2 folder. Notice it says Site2-J2.5. So this is the Joomla 2.5.6 installation script when we first visit the folder that we've unpacked Joomla into. Now, for this to work, once again, we need a database. So if we go to our PHP My Admin, let's go to our home page here, you can see that I have a database created called site2 underscore db. All I did to do that was go to databases, and I put the name in here and hit create, and it creates an empty database. If I click on the site2 database, you can see that there's no tables in it, no information in it. It's an empty database waiting to be populated. And that's what's going to happen when we go through this installation script right here. So it's very similar to the Joomla 1.5 installation script. We'll just choose the language. Next. Now you can see that there's a check that's run. We want to make sure that these are all yeses. This is very important right here that this is all working. And you can see that the web server that we're using obviously has PHP, an adequate version. It has uh, database support, MySQL, right? So it runs and makes some checks to see that everything here is in support. And so this is going to work. The configuration.php file is writable. So all these yeses. Now, the recommended settings down here, these are not deal breakers. We've got two red flags here, but they're not deal breakers. So we're good. We can hit next. And we can accept the license agreement, read through it, and hit next. And this is the important part, the database part. Now, you can see here that the default here in database type is MySQLi. So I'm going to leave it like that. The host name is default is localhost. And you can see this is usually localhost. And then the username. Now, since we're running a local version of WAMP server, the username is root. There is no password because our WAMP server installs without a password on the root user for the MySQL server. So we can leave that blank. Once again, if you have a public web host, like um, let's say you have penguinwebhosting.com, you're not going to have root user access. So your username will be particular to whatever your username is and your password. And then the database name, for ours, it's site2 underscore db right? And you can see it wants to set a table prefix. And it says here you can choose a table prefix or use the randomly generated one. Ideally, three or four characters long, contain only alpha, alphanumeric characters, and must end in an underscore. Okay, this is a, a, an option that adds a layer of security to a Joomla 2.5.6 installation. And this is really not part of this part is not part of a Joomla 1.5 installation. I'm going to take the randomly generated set53 underscore that's there, that's fine, and old database process, if there's any existing backup tables from an older version of Joomla, they'll be replaced. Okay, and you can see here it says um, backup. I'll just leave the default here. Okay, I'll hit next and we'll see if it can connect to the database. Now if there's any problem with our database and getting this to work, we'll get an error right now and we'll get a message. Okay, FTP configuration. Notice it lets you know now in the Joomla 2.5.6 installation that you probably don't need to configure this right now. And so we'll hit next. And then the site name. We'll put here site2, capital J, 2.5. And so I'm just, this is where you would put, you know, danscourses.com or yourwebsite.com or something like that. But since this is just a test site, I'm putting in site2 here, right? And I could even just say site2. Advanced settings optional. We could put in a meta description right now, meta keywords, and whether the site's going to start off offline or online, right? Um, this, these settings can also be set once 
you're finished with the installation you start working with Joomla. Okay, this setting could be important if you're on a public server though. Site offline, you might want to say, yes, I want to start with my site offline because I don't want anybody to see just the empty website at the beginning. But I'm just going to leave it as is. Once again, I'll put in, let's say, an email address. I'll put in my email address and admin username. I'm going to put in a password. All right, I'm going to confirm the password again. Once again, this admin password is very important and the admin username because this is how you'll be manipulating and working with your Joomla website, basically managing it and configuring it from the back end. So you want to remember this, your admin username and your admin password. More on that later. Install sample data. I recommend it. I recommend installing the sample data for the first time you work with a site. It's very useful in learning to how to work with the Joomla website. Okay, I got a message that it was installed successfully. So now I can go to next and we're greeted with the same message that, hey, congratulations, everything was installed correctly, but we need to remove the installation folder. Now here they have a button that will remove the installation folder for us. That's pretty handy. Let's see if that works. We'll just click the button and the folder was removed. Let's double check to make sure it was removed. We'll go to our www folder. We'll go to site two and the installation folder should be gone and it is. So that worked out pretty nicely. So now all we have to do is go to the site and this is the front page and this is the front page of a Joomla 2.5 website on a fresh install with the sample content installed. So that means sample menu up here, sample menu here, sample menu and links here, basically placeholder text, right, placeholder stuff here. But these are active links. If you click on using Joomla, it'll take you to a different page. And we're going to see how this is going to be useful in basically developing and starting to populate content on your new Joomla 2.5 website. Okay, in the next video, we are going to work with our site 3 folder and install WordPress.